Hello everyone, my name is Foley and welcome to Making Dreams Come True episode 15. In last episode, we did a big Slayer grind and ended up getting level 99 hit points, which is the first 99 on the account. During that time, we went to a Lizardman Shaman task and got a Dragon Warhammer drop, our second one, at KC 3262. We also ended up getting our first Cerberus task, which granted us the Hell Puppy at KC 93. The Cerberus task gave us enough combat achievement points to get the hard tier complete. We also got a double Abyssal Whip drop from a task, which was crazy to see. And we ended off the video by selling all the loot that we got and ended up with 54 mil. Which brings us to what I am doing today. I will be entering the God Wars dungeon for the first time and tackling Bandos. Unfortunately, like in the end of last episode, my mic wasn't working during recording, so the first half of the day doesn't have audio, so let me give you a rundown. There was one thing I wanted to get before going to Bandos, the Bofa. After doing the math, I found out it would cost me roughly 150 million gold. Taking out the 54 million already had in gold, I still needed about 95 million gold. It was time to sell some things. I grabbed my Armadale Helmet, Blessed Dehyde Set, Dragon Crossbow, Odium Ward, Din's Bulwark, Dragon Hunter Lance, and my Bando's Chest and Tassets and sold them. I then bought the Enhanced Crystal Weapon Seed for 99 million and 6 Crystal Armor Seeds for roughly 27 million. I needed Crystal Shards so I purchased 15 Enhanced Crystal Teleport Seeds for 30 million and went to Prifness to exchange them. Afterwards, I made my way to the singing bowl and crafted my armor and had the nice lady make the bow for me. Miscalculated, it then dawned on me. I needed 900 more crystal shards to get the corrupted bow, so I quickly went back to the Grand Exchange and sold my amulet of torture for 11 mil and picked up another 8 teleport seeds for 16 mil, making the total cost come out to 170 mil, about 20 mil off my calculations, but overall, I don't feel like I lost too much besides the bandos, chests, and tassets. Luckily, I'm going to kill the source of those items hundreds of times, so maybe I'll just get them to drop. We'll have to see... Anyways, the first part of the kills didn't have any audio, so enjoy the segment of me dying while I was learning the process of the 6-0 method. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for! Da -da -da! <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> What was that? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, you almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that. You should probably run. Run. Bando's boot. Very cool. Alright, that was kill 77 for the Bando's boots. Alright, gonna end the night off here with 87 kills. Not bad for a first day. Did end up dying a lot there at the beginning, but smooth things out at the end. And uh, I feel like I got a, a hold of this boss now. So tomorrow we're gonna start getting in a lot of kills. I am also having a hell of a time with this Bofa and Crystal Armor. Yeah, it's it's fun and awesome knowing that I have it. Uh, the only thing that I really did lose out of it all is uh, I need to get my BCP back and my Tacits. Um, but I can get that from this boss, which is the goal, really. Um, I sold my Torture, so I need to get that back. Um, other than that, uh, not a lot, really. I mean, my Blessed Dehyde, I'd have to get back, but ideally I don't need it anymore. And then my carols and arums maybe get back at some point, but 
uh, I don't see myself using them in the near future anyways, so we'll just pick them back up when we need them. Back in the God Wars dungeon, day number two. See how many kills we get. Hey, Grardor veteran, that is our hundredth kill. Very nice. All right, 2.64 million cash, one collection log slot. Not too bad, still searching for one of the big items. All right, I'm going to take a quick pit stop and get the Lumbridge Easy Diary done. Uh, I know it's not done yet, uh, but uh, yeah, this will give me the ring so I can cast Low Alchemy. While I'm at Bandos, I will save up a couple inventory spots so I can have more bones uh, in my uh, inventory to get good use out of my bones to peaches, which will make trips a lot better. So, all right, and there we are was pretty quick and we got ourselves a lamp as well so runecraft here we go all right and now we can uh, have, uh low out 30 times a day so that will definitely help out with our trips <laughs> another pair of bandos boots wow that's uh on 158 kills oh there we go so I was looking through the loot tracker, and uh, I got the boot drop off of one of his uh, sergeant's uh, minions. So, uh, yeah, that's a 1 in 16,000 drop um, instead of the, like, 1 in 127 or whatever. So, yeah, that I guess that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, my God, I got a Hobgoblin champion scroll. <laughs> oh, my God. Just getting up kill count. Like, what the hell? God sword shard three from a fucking minion. What the hell? I guess minions are just dropping it for me today. That's minions are the way. God. <laughs> Oh, I had the blowpipe on. I about got fucking smacked. All right. Uh, looking at it, we hit a hundred million XP on the account now. And I went online to do a pie graph, and it, it's crazy. The combat XP is literally two thirds of the account, while the skills is one third. Like that's a crazy percentage. Like a weird percentage to have, just like the two thirds and one third even. Like that's that's pretty cool. It actually makes a lot of sense, too. Hey, a God Sword Shard 1. I accidentally dropped my dropped my uh, magic here while uh, trying to switch to it. Kill number 114 for the day. And kill number 201. Very nice. 5.7 mil so far in loot from Grardor. All right, I got uh, a beginner, a easy, a medium, five hearts, and an elite casket saved up. I want to open them, so let's get started. All right, nothing out of the easy, medium, or beginner. Now on to the hard. A Morton Teleport. Hey, an Honorable Blessing. And an enchanted hat. Oh, I guess the white fire lighter was a collection log slot too. All right, and for the elite casket, boom, lunar isle teleport, very nice. All right, gonna sum up the end of day two. 129 uh, kills for 2.9 mil plus, you know, about 900k, maybe a mil uh, in loot from uh, the minions. As well and then our caskets we got about 600 from the hards and 100k from the elite and nothing from the other three so not a bad day it's it's crazy to think that i got three drops today and two of them were from minions yeah not to mention the hobgoblin champion scroll too like, I was just waiting for a guy to get his KC at the goblins, so I was just killing the hobgoblins, and then it happened. I was like, holy shit. That's crazy. Oh, a Bando's Hilt! 
Let's go. This is the second kill for the day. Day number three. Wow. Yeah. Killed 218 on bandos. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna fucking die. That lag spike was not ideal. Alright, for those who's wondering, um, with my inventory set up, if I don't get any super restore drops, then I'm looking at about 14 kills. Um, but if I do get super restore drops, then I can get anywhere from 16 to 18 kills, just depending on how many staminas I have left. But I usually use one stamina dose per kill. And I'm bringing uh, four in. So that's 16 kills for the stamina pots that I bring. Hey, another God Sword Shard. That is number two for God Sword Shard 3. Hey, keep away. What is that? Is it a Grandmaster task? I don't, even, I don't even know what I did. I'll have to check after, uh, after this trip. Ogre killer, okay. Alright, so if we look here, uh oh okay, that was the one I was going for, the 15 kills in the private instance. I didn't know what it was called. And then the other one that I got was keep away. Uh without taking any damage from the boss or bodyguards. Oh. Wow. I did not do anything to prevent that. That was just luck of the draw. Oh, we got a uh, level 97 ranged off that kill. All right, a little bit of an update. We're at 329 kills. Uh, the majority of the money being from the Bandos Hill, 17.1 mil uh, in total value for that item. We've gotten two boots, two God Sword Shard 3s, um, a God Sword Shard 1, and that Bandos Hill as well. Still going strong. I got two hard caskets. All right, that is a uh, RuneScape starter pack. Right there. Oh, another Bando's Hilt. Dang, another dupe. I mean, that's still some some cash in the bank right there, though. All right, today is a much better day than yesterday. Got two Bando's Hilts for uh, 33.9 mil for those two items uh, for a total of 37 mil on Grardor. And then, you know, a little bit of money here and there from the minions so uh yeah not too bad ending off day three at 354 kills all right two hard caskets boom bandos dehyde boots very nice and nothing all right sitting at 403 kills right now i think i'm gonna finish it off at 500 and uh call it a video um Hopefully we get at least one more drop. Um, hopefully a chess piece, maybe tacit. I'm hoping for at least one of those, but overall it's a it's a win win because I got two hilts, so that's a, a good chunk of money. All right, I'm gonna show you how I do the six o method. The hardest part's entering the room, um, but I'll, I'll show you that in a second. Anyways, um, you wanna if you have rune light, you wanna go to configuration and download uh, the tile packs um, the tile packs plugin and then when you go over here there's gonna be a side window right here and you just want to click on the 6.0 method um, and it will bring up the tiles it won't have any writing so you might have to write those just to help uh, you remind yourself that you always start there after your first kill and then you always shoot on this tile and you always skip this uh, tile first. Um, but yeah, I'm just bringing two Bastion potions, four Staminas, um, nine Prayer potions, three Manta Rays, a Anglerfish, a Explorer's Ring, which is completely optional, um, Blood Barrage, my Teleport to Trollheim, Bones to Peaches, and my TP to House, as, long, um, as well as a Blowpipe for more healing and my mage switch for the blood barrage after i kill grardor but anyways the best way to enter the room 
is to wait till Grardor is at the top right, right here, and then you'll want to pot up. And then eat your Angler. Pray Range and um, Rigor or Eagle Eye, whichever one you have. You're going to tank a hit more than likely. Um, I usually skip this first tile until I get over here. And then I'll usually shoot my first shot on this one, depending on how things go. But that's usually how it goes when I enter the room. Afterwards, it's smooth sailing from there, as long as you start at the right tile. If you're needing to heal during the run, um, two places you can heal um, and have a and be able to shoot the next one are um, on the left side, um, like the left walls and the right walls. Um, I guess the the north and south walls when you're running down them those are safe to eat um at, like as soon as you shoot you can eat like shoot click to the next place eat and then by the time you get to the next place you'll be able to shoot again so you won't have that delay um just so you're getting the max amount of uh damage out while healing as possible then afterwards, um, you'll just go over to the mage, and I just camp ranges the whole time, and you'll switch out your blood barrage. If you have your blowpipe specs, you can switch um, to your blowpipe specs first, and then switch out to your uh, blood barrage. Once the, ma once the mage is dead, um, then you can lure the melee person over to the ranged person and barrage them at the same time. But I killed the melee first, which is kind of common. So just on the first rotation, just kind of kind of get by and kill whatever you can. On the first kill, I like to use the least amount of prayer pots as possible because you do get your prayer back here and you can get your prayer back after every 10 minutes. So try to use the altar off your very first kill. Pick up your, your stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up all these bones. So I can use bones to peaches and you're going to have to get back to that start tile before he spawns. So sometimes it can get a little intense and you can be a little bit late, but as soon as it starts and he spawns, you want to go to the shoot tile, make sure to shoot, make sure to pop a stamina at the start of every run and then make sure to have your prayer on as well. And it's as easy as that. Um, there's a lot better guides out there. I I'm sure if you just search 6-0 um, bandos, you'll find a much better guide, but that's kind of the gist of it. Now, if you're learning, you might want to take like one or two less stamina pots and uh, maybe take out the Bastion potions and put in Ranging potions, as well as um, taking out a couple prayer pots and putting in... Uh, Saradomen Brews and Super Restores so that you have more healing on demand. But once you get used to it, you you don't really need more than one or two food per uh, kill. And then you'll be able to heal up to full mostly with uh, the Blood Barrage afterwards against the minions. Hey, God Sword Shard 1. That is my second one, I believe. All right, got an elite casket. Had to go to KBD. Ended up getting ahead, so that's pretty cool. Um, hey, ancient page four. All right, another hard casket. Hey, red dehyde chaps. G. All right, got a hard casket. Nothing. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. My BCP. It is back. Kill 454. Let's go. Back to back? Nope. All right, and we can now fill that spot back up for our Bando's chest plate. We just need the Tassets back. I still need 42 more kills to get to 500, so I doubt we'll get the Tassets, but it is possible. Oh, another Bando's Hilt. That's number three. Dang. Four, 482. Kill number 482. All right, I am at 499kc. This will be the 500th kill. There is 500 kills. 20k. All right, I'm going to stay here for the rest of the trip. Looks like it's going to be uh, two kills. About two more kills. All right, last kill. 
Uh, 20k again. Maybe one of the minions will give us a little going away gift. And the minions did not give me anything either. But that is alright. We have 502 General Grardor kills now. Totaling up to 92.9 million gold. Which is crazy. We ended up getting three Bandos hilts. Two Bandos boots. A Bandos chest plate. Two Ancient God sword shards one. And two Ancient God sword shard three. The goal of this video was to gain back my Bandos chest plate and my Bandos tacids, which I was not able to get a tacids drop. But due to our RNG, I was able to get plenty of items that I could sell to be able to buy that. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and sell off the big ticket items. All right, and everything is sold off. We end up with a 50 mil cash stack on top of our Bando's chest plate for a total of 79.5 mil. Uh, that's not including uh, a lot of the gold that I made, like uh, all the alkables mostly. Uh, I ended up selling off to pay off for supplies and stuff. So um, yeah, 50 mil in profit, but I still need to purchase my tacits. And there we go, we have achieved our Bando's tacits back. With 31 mil to spare. Now looking at the collection log, uh, we can see what the loot tracker was telling us, but just in a nice, simple form right there. 502 kills, uh, a handful of uniques, um, and two of them actually being from minions, which is crazy to think about. Alright, and I had someone in the comments last episode ask me about my HD settings, so I'm just gonna, uh, I'm not gonna talk about them, I'm just gonna scroll through them real quick so that you can see them if you want to copy them down. I got this off another video, I'm not sure what video I got them off of, but, uh, there it is. And I believe I... I may have changed the miscellaneous and model caching settings, so I'll go ahead and show that too, just in case. Also in that comment, they were talking about how my how my skills looked, which I'm not too sure what they're talking about, but the best thing I could come up with is the interface styles plugin. Um, I have it set to 2010, which you can change it from 2006 to 2005 to default. I like the 2010 because it's uh, a bit more... Uh, I think it just looks better, in my opinion. Alright, gonna end the episode off here. If you guys made it this far, I really appreciate it and thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, then make sure to so you can see more of my videos getting posted in the future. But that will be it for today. Hope you all have a great day or night, whatever time it is for you. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.